Okay guys, so first things first, let's go ahead and get the bucket here underneath this, uh, this cylinder right over here off to the left. That's the one I'm going to start on first, cleaning it out with the, uh, with the spray and what, what have you. So the bucket is placed underneath right now, I'm just lining it up and everything, and I think that should do. So what I'm going to do, if I don't knock the camera over again, is I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning the cylinder walls out like so. It's not going to really be you know, all that dirty or nothing. And, uh, this stuff dries pretty damn fast. So there you have it. And of course I'm going to have to wipe it down. I've got all the uh, holes and oil galleys or you know, antifreeze galleys around the cylinders and everything. All, uh, all uh, patched up with some toilet paper. I've got the uh, crankshaft. So I'm going to get you guys up to see it. The uh, crankshaft is done up as well in the same fashion. And uh, now I've got the... Uh, flex hone, otherwise known as a cherry hone or ball hone. So what I've got to do to this is grab my trusty old bucket. And I've got to, since this is a new hone, I'm going to have to pre-lube it. And by doing that, because this is going to soak up all your lubricant since it's brand new, so this is what you do. Smoky. And there you have it. Go ahead and set them down. It is always good to have air movement as I do. In fact, I'm going to move my box. You know, you don't want to really breathe it in all that much. So let's go ahead and get started. And let's wet down the cylinder wall again. There you go. And watch me work, guys. And there you have it. So let me see what we've got here to work with. Oh yeah, I see a definite difference. All the way down there. All the way down. That is awesome. Just beautiful. And as you guys can clearly tell, it is all the way down there, even down there to well, I'm just going to call them the keepers for now, but uh, looks like it is a little bit more shiny because that's not technically a part of the cylinder wall. That's the uh, that's uh, the part that you know the block is split in half at. I'm assuming, um, but you can definitely see a difference with the uh, new with the one that I haven't done yet compared to the one I have. That is beautiful. What a great tool. It's a perfect cross hatch, hatch pattern just as it's advertised to do. So let's go ahead and get on to the other two. I don't really need to guy, show you guys um, how I do that at all, but you know, you get the big picture now and that's what I'm gonna do the next two. So out when we do it. Okay guys, now that I've gotten all three honed out, you can definitely, definitely tell the difference now. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, spray them all out. And just see what we have to work with here. 
Okay guys, so now what I'm going to do, before I do anything else, is very, very carefully, I'm going to crack open my uh, specially made engine rebuilding liquid. Oh yeah, took a couple swigs. And we'll get to this. So as you can see, it's nowhere near as shiny as it was. I mean, it's a lot, it's a lot nicer now, you know, as far as, you know, it's supposed to be. No shine left in these at all. It's awesome. I was really worried that I was going to screw something up doing this, but it appears that I haven't. So what I'm going to do now is just remove all the toilet paper and stuff that I put in here. And I am being very careful not to leave any pieces of toilet paper in here. And a quick glance over reveals that there is not a bit of old toilet paper left, so let's throw this out. And it's just that simple. So, do another uh, quick run through here and see if there's any shreds of toilet paper left behind. And it doesn't appear that there is anywhere. So throw that old stuff out. But there you have it. So now I'm going to let that dry off a little bit. And now I'm going to see about removing the uh, water pump over here and replacing it. So get the camera all situated and get you guys happy. Now, as you can see here, I have this socket on this long nut that's right here. I've got to remove this spring guided mechanism um, or at least get this part off so I can pull the water pump out. Um, this looks like it's going to be the most difficult one, and unfortunately, I can't get the socket on there, you know, just by itself. I have to actually take the socket off, put it on like so, and put the socket on. So let's go ahead and do this. It's coming off really easily. I thought I was going to have to use a lot more torque than that. So let's get it off. pull this off. Now it's just coming off really easily by hand and whatnot. So now that that's off, I'm just going to lay it down here on the side. It's still connected at this bottom screw all the way down here, so we're good. I'm just going to set this right here because I'm going to come back to it fairly quickly. And let's get to removing Mr. Water Pump here. look like they're just on here hand tight. You might not need the torque wrench for this. These are not on here that that tight at all. So that's always good. Should be another nut down here somewhere. I might have to get under the car for that one. Um, I'll have to downgrade the smaller socket. Jesus. I should have known that was going to happen. But, uh, wow. Holy shit. I don't think this thing has ever been changed. Look at the gasket. There's bits and pieces of it that are still on <laughs> the, uh, the side here. Wow. Man, antifreeze smells like shit. So let's get him out of the way. And uh, try and get the rest of this old gasket off of here. Go out with the old and in with the new. That's the new water pump right there. I've got the uh, gasket all right here ready to go. And uh, so let's go ahead and get ready and install it into the car. Got a lot less light to work with now, unfortunately. I'm trying to figure out the best way to get this gasket on here, and it looks like I'm just going ahead and placing it on here with the bolts that are still part of the car and whatnot it seems to be the best way to do it. Yeah, and then there's Tom, who has 
that's no offense. Okay, so what was gotten done today, <clears throat> as you can see, brand new water pump has been installed. There's the old one right there, and there's the box that's still sitting there. Um, <clears throat> I got, didn't get any footage of it, but I got the uh, new bearings put into the connecting rods. As you can see, the old ones are in here in the trash right there. And uh, I also got the uh, cylinders all completely honed out. They all look uniform. They all look good enough for me. So hopefully everything should be good. Worked on this thing for about four hours today. And uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll get to uh, get into putting those into the block <clears throat> themselves. Making sure everything on the water pump is all rigged properly. I still got to get the uh, spring-loaded thing down there next to the uh, crankshaft hooked into it to uh, this not right there, that weird long looking one. Um, so yeah, that's really all there is to it. Uh, everything's gone smoothly today. And I can only hope for more tomorrow. Stay classy, guys.